Mighty fine place you got around here. You the owner, you Henry Devers? Nope. Folks call me Finley. Howdy. Howdy. He's my uncle. He's over yonder in the shed. Much obliged, Finley. I'm your neighbor. My name's Sam Tucker. I brought you a fish. You mean I want to buy it? Oh, no, it's a present. Well, leave it if you got no use for it. Where will I put it? Any place. On the bench. Say, that's a mighty queer-looking fish hook you're fixing. I ain't no grabbler. I fish hook and line. Aim to use it in this river? Aim to use it any place I feel like it. Finley! Your fish, give it to Becky to cook for dinner. You the new neighbor? I'm Becky Devers. Yes, I'm. We're the Tuckers. Been nice having folks next door. It's lonesome here. What are you doing here? I didn't send for you. But I thought Papa. You don't have to think. Get that fish and go back in the house. I think they're real fine. And you get your washing finished. My wife will likely be over soon to borrow some of your well water. So that's what you come for. That's right. My well ain't no good. Yeah, I could have told you that. Yeah, so can I. Now, what about that water? Why don't you get your water at the river? Because river water ain't no good for kids to drink. All right, as long as there's plenty of water. You'll have to make other arrangements, though, when summer comes. It gets pretty weak when the weather's dry. We'll take turns about replacing the wore-out rope. Seems pretty wore out already. Well, if you don't like it, next well's five miles down the road. Suits me. All right. So long, Devers. Uh, just a minute. You're likely going to fix your own well, ain't you? If you're renting, you must have some savings put aside. I got two good arms. It's worth more than saving. <laughs> Here folks talk, you think you can be farmers just like that with the bare hands. Got any tools, a tractor? No, I ain't got no tractor. But I got two mules and a good old plow, and a friend of mine's lending the seed. The Russian furnishes the fertilizer. Don't need much for good muddy land like that. And he gives the poison for the weevils, pays the cotton pickers, even lets you draw grub from his commissary after you get the ground broke. Yeah, he just furnishes about everything with the sweat. And if you get by the year, he generously lets you take your share of the crop. Ain't that right? Why, ask me. Seems like you know it already. No, oh, but I know Rushton. Ain't the first time he's getting a piece of land cleaned off for nothing. Until you get your plowing started, how do you aim to eat? I aim to fish and hunt varmints and sell a few skins. Now, lots of folks like that live around here, and plenty more done it before. And how about you? How'd you get started? Share crop. First year, I lost my whole crop. It was ruined by the hail. Next year, Black Leg got my cow and pig that I'd spent all my savings for. My wife caught cold and she died. Two years later, one of my kids, the boy, he died from spring sickness. Maybe I lost them both, my woman and my kid, because I didn't have no money for doctrine. And here I am with a farm. Good one, belongs all to me and worth lots of money. Only I can't forget what it cost me. So when I see young folk like you with their proudness, Nose is stuck in the air. It just makes me laugh. Well, much obliged for the water. And good luck with your fish hook. Hey, Finley. Huh? What's that big old fish hook your uncle's fixing up there? Is there a whale in this river? That's the lead pencil. Lead pencil? What's that? A catfish. He's got chin whiskers like lead pencils. The biggest turned catfish you ever seen in the river. Henry! Get that water. Right away, Uncle Henry. Hurry up and put your cap. Over again. Thank you.
Make your plan. be the wind. It's more the sign. For days now, the moon's been moving closer and closer to the North Star. The animals don't like that. They hide out. Crazy to go against the signs, but what can you do? You've got to get fresh food. Daisy, honey, why don't you and Sonny get into bed? It's nice and warm there. Come on, Daisy. Go to bed, Johnny. You have a nice day at school, sister? She didn't go, Sam. Why not? It's too cold. She ain't got no coat. She'll catch her death of cold. But Daisy's got to go to school. Just because we're having hard times right now, don't mean we've got to stop nothing. We've got to keep going. Once we give up, we won't have the courage to get ourselves back to good times. And I see it ain't gonna have no dinner again tonight. Never you mind, Granny. For breakfast, we'll have a nice big bowl of cornmeal mush. When you all look down on my cold, dead face in that cowdy pine box, you'll be sorry then, maybe. You keep on promising, Granny. You don't never deliver the goods. Hush your mouth. You can't talk to me like that. You ain't even a real tucker. <coughs> well, you ain't either. Hey, honey. Days has got to be coated. You got to go to school. Don't you touch my blanket, Sam Tucker. Don't you touch my blanket. Get up. Sam Tucker, you touch one pair of my best blanket, you get punished for it. Granny, ain't you got no heart? You want Daisy to catch a death? There'll be enough blanket to keep you warm. I like a big cashew, Sam. Tuck her by this blanket. Cashew. Granny. <laughs> Sam Tucker's the boss here. He can cut up whatever he likes. He's the boss. You hear me? <laughs> oh, Granny. Now, don't take on the so. Look, I think I know where there's a nice swarm of wild bees. Maybe tomorrow I'll go out and get you some honey. Maybe. Wild bees. Wild bees don't care for folks coming and helping themselves, you know. Now, don't you worry. I'll get your honey. No need. You know, I guess you're right to get Tucker after all. And that Sam of yours, he's... Most as good a man as my Fayette. <laughs> my best blanket.
of that carcass of yours is sure gonna make four more tuckers. Mighty happy. Oh, no. Come on, Billy. Your hide will just about bring the price of a pair of silk stockings for Nona. Nice and shiny. I reckon we can eat now, folks. Your share. Hold on, everybody. There's going to be a blessing. Much obliged, Lord. Looks like the Tuckers are going to make the grade after all. Amen. Granny? Granny gets the first because she's the eldest. I've taken the Lord to be a stranger in this house. Then comes Jotty, because he's the littlest. Then comes Papa, because he caught the possum. And this one's for Zuni. Because he helped him. And last of all, Daisy and me, because we're the women folk. They say you gotta eat vegetables. Too much meat's bad. Vegetables in winter? If you don't, they say you get a pellagra. That must be spring sick.